Okay, so I need to, like, slap this in before the video begins, but just, like, I need to apologize in advance. The video that you're gonna see today is basically just, like, not the, like, visual quality you can usually expect from me. And, like, once the hangout with Angus begins, basically there's gonna be a lot of frame rate drops, a lot of skipping. I don't, I'm just, like, I have, like, no idea why. I can't fix it, I can't, like, re- like, I can't, like, re-record the episode because Night in the Woods has, has auto-saves. And the weird thing is, just, like, none of this happened during recording. Like, Camtasia just, like, shit itself in the rendering process or something. I don't know if the errors are gonna be, like, ironed out once the video goes up, so if that does happen, then maybe you can just completely disregard the intro to this video, but if it doesn't, then I am, I am so sorry. I am so, 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 so sorry. Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Night in the Woods. In the last episode, we did some investigating about the strange ghost that we saw at Harfest, and basically, we've got... Three places to go with three different friends, and we're gonna tackle that today, but first, let's check on Mom. Morning, Sunshine. You feeling okay? You too, and you look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, and they're working, they're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hun. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Yeah, maybe today might be a good day to maybe go to Possum Leap with Angus? I don't know. First we gotta do the usual. though. Check on Cat Pastor K, check on Bruce, check on Lori. Check on Selmers, naturally. Hey Selmers, you were great last night. Aw, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Wanna hear a new poem? Of course. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. <clears throat> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before, too. It's a grin, it's crazy making. Uh, yeah, I think everybody's been mad over the internet at some point. Could be worse, though. Check on Pastor K and Bruce. And potentially Mom. Hi, Mama. Hey, you free? Maybe. Wanna go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Pastor's gone. I'm going to skip out. Uh, I mean, if it does, if it's like that thing with Lori, and you don't miss out on the day, then oh yeah, let's skip work. I'm only skipping, only I'm skipping work, hon. Oh hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. I don't 
think I've ever been up here. We used to come up, we used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friends and I when we were your age. Oh, okay. I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh. So do we just, like, explore around? Oh, this is nice. Used to be a lot more trees around up here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happen before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. <laughs> yeah, May is usually kind of off in her own little world. So what is this place? Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was a woman and her daughter walking here. And the woman's daughter is in front of her. And then she's just gone, like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up. When a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. So this is Jenny's field. I never found her. Just... Gone. So, wait. Why are we here? What? You're not up for a little risk-taking? I mean, y'all are the ones that agreed that friggin' if a sinkhole actually eats up a house, y'all are gonna go see it together. What's wrong? I thought it was, I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm. How about that? Whoa. Okay. What's that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they bought this old lime furnace up up on the mountain. Why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. It looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny! But slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. And not much climbing. I'ma climb it. I'm a climate. Oh, map. I do this. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh, awesome springs in most of the valley. The hot Possum Springs in most of the valley. What does it look like? A quilt? Like someone dumped out some blocks? Let's say a quilt. Oh, it's a cozy valley. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age. Or I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks. And I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? I don't know. It feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. Couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey!
Oh, May, you can climb down by yourself. And besides, there's no falling damage in this game. Aww, that's cute. Any new other things? Nope. Just more reminders of the tragic extent of my failures. On Pumpkinhead Guy. Anyway. Is Pastor K in here? Oh wait, that's right! Mom said that Pastor K was out today, and that's why she basically didn't feel bad about skipping out on work. Shit. Well, I mean, I guess we could still go check on Bruce, yeah? when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. So... I can't help but wonder, like, what Pastor K is out doing today, if it involves, like, her, like, actually being out and away from the church, because I don't think we saw her in, like, what little we went into town before going up to the church. Is this a cliff or a lake? I've never been able to tell. Well, I didn't- I did- if I recall correctly, she did say that, like, that big city council meeting of, uh, where she was gonna talk about Bruce and his situation was coming up. I really hope that goes well, cause, like, real talk? Nobody fucking deserves to be homeless. That shit's, like, really scary, especially with how assholes treat the homeless these days. I know this seems, like, really idealistic, but, like, everybody deserves to have a roof over their head, yeah? Anyway, let's check on Mori. If she's up there today. Boing, boing, boing. Is Doggy here today? Doggy! I hope you're having a nice day, Doggy. You know, all the days that we've been doing this, I'm surprised Aunt Mall Cop hasn't arrested our asses yet. And, yep, Glory's up there. Oh, shit. Eh, I can't get it perfect every time. So let's try that again. There we go. I hello, fiddle man. Hey! Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you gonna give me money? No. I have no money. Then I'm not busking. Cool. Uh, every time somebody says busking, I'm reminded of that busking minigame from Fable and just... Ugh. Anyway. Hi, Lori. Drawn something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy from a move and for a movie. Have you like filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone. I pirated some and, pi and I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. Let's see, I play bass real bad. <laughs> but nah, what's it about? Um. Lady finds a window in her will in her wall that wasn't there before. 
and it's like looking at our backyard, but it's always sunset, and there's a guy standing there she can't quite see. Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. Really? I mean, honestly, honestly, almost like nothing is actually like realistically scarier than looking out your window at night and seeing some freak in your backyard. I am creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Let's see. Where'd the idea come from? I like a lot of horror movies that are really gory, but gory isn't always scary. So, what well, I was thinking of, of what's scary, and I don't know. You're at home, but there's something new, or maybe you just never noticed it before. And there's someone strange very nearby, and I don't know. Yeah, stranger danger is a real thing even when you're grown up. What? Nothing. Creepy. Alright, I'm off. See ya. Later. But yeah, Stranger Danger is like a very real thing, even like when you're an adult. And just, good on you, Lori, for like, not immediately going, Hey, let's make a scary movie all about body bits. Seriously, gore can be creepy sometimes, but like, all good things in moderation, you know? Where are we gonna find out what this thing's getting remodeled into? Probably not. Let's go see Angus. Hey, big guy. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Yeah, I guess, huh? I've been hanging out with Greg, with Greg so much, it'll actually be nice to get you know to get to know you a little better. I'm pretty great. Ghost hunting with Angus. So do you and so you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does nobody believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean. Ghosts don't actually exist. Yeah, you're kind of telling this to, well, an atheist. Or at least a nihilist or some sort of agnostic. Pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I've verified you as in, yeah, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff is brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts. And this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> These two are very silly together. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Do you think ever Casey's ever gonna, like, come back? I mean, probably not, but... Posted... Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Let's see. That seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go in the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess. What about feeding ducks? We could, we could, we could take out some nice cracked corn because bread is actually bad for them. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. Uh, no thank you? 
it's a weird old place up here. There's one, there's all kind of stuff, and there's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. Well, and we'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Is there no, like, no walk button? Because, like, I don't want to, like, end up running past Angus. Like, this always happens. Like, you get, like, way, way ahead of the NPC and you're just like, Come on. Come on. I feel like an impatient child that's going to the store with their mom. Or dad, in this case. Why is the music all jumpy? Like, you guys are hearing this, right? Because, like, I'm hearing this and I don't know what gives. You alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Oh god, I am so sorry, dude. I wouldn't have rushed you if I'd known that. I know that feel. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I save that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like... A lime kiln, I think? Limes? Limes? Limestone. You like, do something with it in there. And then it becomes this other thing. Oh... Limestone's weird, because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this, and this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. <laughs> I know, right? Like, we're still, like, right where we're standing, there were either, were, like, ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Take your time, dude. Uh, I I think I can vouch for us all when I say just having asthma is a right bitch. Like, even if it wasn't- even when, like, it doesn't involve friggin' being slow and stuff. Like, sometimes you just, like, straight up have trouble breathing. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Need to take a break? I'm okay. I'm okay. No prob. <sighs> so if this place was underwater, where'd all the water go? I don't know, to the ocean, I guess. And like, the earth is always shifting, so mountains get all pushed up, and where it used to be just flat ground. Weird, because things are and things, and things are so boring nowadays. I think all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. Like find out and to find out about the ladder. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Even if we don't end up finding our ghost, this is actually really nice. Ugh. <sighs> 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 Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang, hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Well, I'm... stone. I was gonna take a class on, on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them. Honestly, I feel like velociraptors having feathers is like one of the greatest scientific discoveries ever because... I mean, yeah, they're pack hunters and they're fucking terrifying, but all the cute art of them now. I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Thing and things were so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. 
Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. We've got for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most da time makes most dangerous things feel less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Dinosaurs are honestly, like, really rad. But honestly, I think, like, there's still, like, some pretty scary stuff around. Like, have you seen some of the shit that they found in the Mariana Trench? Like, holy fuck. Whoa. That was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We got, like, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. It used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now. Just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That labor strike thing. Where it was like, the miners versus the National Guard? Happened in town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. And some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh. Huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like, colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Whoa. That's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones? Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. I don't know, though. Being in a graveyard at night is, like, very... It's fucking terrifying. Who am I kidding? I am, like, the polar opposite of Angus. I believe in just about any superstition. I believe in ghosts. I believe in the supernatural. Just, holy shit. Wow, we're up really high. And really far out. I can see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So, what are we supposed to- and so what? Are we supposed to wait and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. I don't know, you could always like- actually no, don't crank out the Ouija board. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think the one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time that we were all at the Longest Night Bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together? And you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. If I recall, this is actually a shout out to one of the little teaser games that came out before Night in the Woods official release. At least that's what I've heard. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake story constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations and you tell me about them. Oh boy! Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed up that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Okay, let's see. Well, this one looks like a gimme. Oh, wait. Huh? Is that not the right one? I- oh, I guess it'll just, like, correct me if I'm wrong.
option um, I guess that ain't right either it's a pope he breathes fire oh this one is real or at least the dude is Rebello. there's a statue of him outside church oh we never went there family go to church? Or... Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and the longest night, basically. I don't think the first two count. Those are like, events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god? Uh... Yes? My grandma and my granddad used to tell me and Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like shiny things, was good at getting through the forest really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah. I used to call him Mascat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became a mortal or something. Huh. Decent. Extremely decent. This is fun. You don't really get to see like, many stars out in the city anymore, or even in the suburbs. There was, like, there was a couple of years back in junior high where I actually, like, lived, like, way out in the sticks. Like, everybody knew everybody's business, and I only had, like, one neighbor out in the sticks. And I remember, like, my first night out there, I actually got to see, like, this huge, huge expanse of stars, and just, honestly, it was Pretty mind blowing. Oh, that's not right. And just, I'd never seen anything like it before, honestly. Okay, is it a triangle or what? Wait, is it connected to this one over here? Okay, there we go. It's a whale, and it's got when it's got and it's got the world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah, that is legitimately upsetting. Why well, you gotta run? You, you gotta wonder why the why people made these up. I mean, like these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, it needs to be carrying something. They didn't know what Earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. That's a bell. And in the middle is this eye. Looking at you. Okay, that's a... Uh... I know this one from... A little from, like, prog rock album covers. Let's see. Uh, nah. 
That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound. Usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not gonna get run rung to death by a bell. Yeah, that's a good point. We're, like, way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers, or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot. Oh, Angus. And my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me. Which is why I, which is why I really like cooking now. She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall down off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. Yeah, no kidding. She'd lock me in there for, like, a day at, for, like, a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd, like, try to develop psychic powers so I could signal the neighbors, or unlatch the door, it didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why, but after a while, I, like, started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was- like this was something bad I was doing? Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. Yeah, dude, holy, holy shit. Like, that is never, never, ever, ever the person being abused fault. No. Honey, no. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can fuck some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, uh, uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left, like, ten years ago. So who knows where he is, or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. HUG HIM! HUG ANGUS! <laughs> well... I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't, like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question... Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something, and it gave me something to, small to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or god. So, like, I feel like if I'd been through that, 
I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so, like, the constellations. I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I, uh, believe that the stars exist. And that the people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like we're pattern finders, and we'll find patterns. Or we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to, so I believe in a universe that can and that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found they found God, but like God found them. Like when they had, like when they were having bad times, like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So like the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Let me hug Angus! Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. Wait! You guys see that, right? That thing next to the tree! Y you, you, you see it, right? The the ghost, it's like right there. Yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person. It doesn't look like they have any legs, Angus. Standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! Mate, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma... I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. And no and no one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright. Ah! <laughs> well, do you believe in ghosts now, Angus? <laughs> oh, I hate to be a smartass, but... I mean, it was, like, right there! Oh god, it's floating after them. You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it! That was the ghost! Or... It was some weirdo... Who lives out there? You probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you, where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from there. Ugh. Why does nobody believe me? May, it's like... Every other explanation is more likely than ghost. 
yeah, May, no offense, but like, there's a cult, there's a child kidnapping cult in Possum Springs is a more likely case than Ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It, it was. Thought. Angus is psychic, but his but his hat blocks it. No clues, but Angus saw him too. Uh, that was fun. That was fun and touching, and I want to hug Angus. Why doesn't this game have a hug button? Like almost literally every game in existence can be can be improved with a hug button. Anyway, hi Dad. We ran away from a potentially murderous death cultist tonight. Hey Dad. Hey you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy and... I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be. But that to him, that was because of my job. Your job doesn't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you and your mom went on an adventure today. <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. It still isn't moved yet. Ugh. Oh yeah, also, now that I think about it, uh... I remember getting some comments that I want to thank you guys for, and that, uh... The first hangout with B, other than, like, dinner being bad, yeah, it was supposed to be that much of a fucking trash fire. So it wasn't my fault. That's good. Anyway, let's see what messages we have tonight. Greg probably wants to hear all about the ghost sighting. Yep, there he is. Hey, hey, hey! Yo, yo, yo! Hey, hey! Did you and Angus have a good time? Uh... Yeah, it was great until when- Yeah, it was great until it was super scary. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was the fucking ghost again! Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts on like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on! Hey. Hey, May. This is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes! I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird. But there are folks that live up there in the park. And there are, like, hunting camps and stuff. So it's most likely a guy out hunting Buck early. Dude, I, like, felt it. I know. I don't know what to say about that. But I think I, I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being all brave and stuff. Any any time. Have fun. You can put Greg back on. Hey hey hey, dude. I'm in I'm an art and I'm an artiste. Were you doing art just now? Sure was. All right, off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, May, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm Angus. I'm so smart, and I have a great ass. Blah, 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 you two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. It's a dick with his hat, and with his hat on it, and a smiley face. I don't even know what it means. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, May, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I, n I can attest that this is a picture of that, is that is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> God, those two are fucking adorable together. Anyway, I have a message from B. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? 
We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow, okay, hold on, I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an annoyingly strident and is an annoyingly strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah! Okay, whatever. Sorry, for what it's worth, I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, I learned a lot about Angus. He's kind of had a rough life? Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how did you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since, like, 8th grade? Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like the glue holding all of us together, Angus. And Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm, Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later. Angus is good. <laughs> Seriously, though? Game devs? Big, big, big emphasis on that hug button. Slime Rancher? Improve with the hug button. Harvest Moon? Improve with the hug button. Nintendo knew games could be improved with the hug button, that's why Pokemon and me exists. Anyway, <laughs> enough shameless plugging. It's time for bed. Oh boy, is it freaky dream time. Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh, we're- Oh, we're playing. We just, like, can't go anywhere? I don't understand this go- Oh, here we are. Are we looking for instruments again? Or is it just like really thundery and we're just like walking through a field or some shit? Whoa, that's. that's almost a little spooky. Or ominous is a better word for it, but still, damn. And hello, what the fuck is you? Are you a cat? Are you a large cat? Can I not jump up on this hill? We'll just look at that. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing I've heard and I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me, I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, I guess that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then and here now. There is nowhere for God to be hiding. So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Why have I been seeing ghosts? There were, like, bits of the world and... I think it was, I was on a train, but it was like a town? It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. 
and they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And now, and I am showing you now. Oh God. Ah! Oh God, oh God. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things that lie beyond. And now there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. And the end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. What the unholy fuck just happened? Wake up, May, holy shit! And try not to have an existential crisis. Did anybody message us? Because I, I need emotional support after that. Angus! Oh. Then it's there to be taken. Okay. Hey, dude. At the old sn- I'll be at, at the old snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Morning. At the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey, Sharkle. At least I know that friggin' 
You'll always be here to comfort me whenever I have an existential crisis. Click. <laughs> you get an extra click today because I'm feeling generous. <laughs> Yee. Yeah. Okay, I think I need to take a rest after that because voice acting a forest god or whatever the fuck that thing was kind of makes my throat hurt. So, next time on Let's Play Night in the Woods, we'll go see B or Greg and do their thing. Hopefully, I will see you guys then, and take care.